Good afternoon. Welcome to everybody. Thanks uh, to be here. I am Davide Carnevali of Entity Data Italy, and today we are pleasure to show to you our solution for mobile payments, remote and proximity payments. We will introduce our white label solution with a short promotional video, and then we are going uh, to show a real demonstration about uh, our solution. So, enjoy our video. Here you can see our MTMS, Mobile Transaction Management System. It allows uh, to you to manage payments, buyers in terms of uh, how your customers, merchant and payments behavior, showing different payment methods such as a credit card, electronic wallet, prepaid credit card, or credit transfer. So to define also the, def the security rules. As you've seen before, there are three kinds of technology at the moment supported of our solution to authenticate the customer and to start the payment processes. QR code, NFSC, and BAMP technologies. Our idea is to divide the authentication carrier in terms of technologies from the payment processes in order to make the payment phases independently by the technologies. For example, in the future, if a new technology will be ready, so you don't have do anything on the system, but we have just to change the front-end layer. The first solution for remote payments is based on a QR code. For example, here you can see several QR codes, and each one of them contains a lot of information about the product, and a unique identifier, description, prior price. So, I am a mobile iPhone, and on it, I have installed a mobile application ready to buy something products of this, this QR code. So for example, I like uh, the Samsung Galaxy. I try to buy the Samsung Galaxy, catch the QR code. You can see on mobile phone the price and description and you have just started the payment process. The system use the payment methods, credit card, electronic wallet, or credit transfer, according to the user rule defined by the customer. For example, this is our back office console. There are a lot of functions. So the main function is the inquiry of transaction. You can see whole detail about the payments done. And for example, for each payment, there is also the geolocalization about the 
payment. In this case, some payments done before are done in Index Osaka inside here. Buyer receive on his mobile phone a push notification about the state of his payment and also a digital receipt as a shopping confirmation. So in this way the merchant can to be sure that the, the customer buy it, bought this product. So now let's go on to show the, your, the NFSC user experience. Without NFSC POS, because at the moment, especially in Europe market, there aren't a lot of NSF, NFSC POS. And the merchant can enable the NFSC protocol using just the sticks. The sticks are similar to our car code. It's just a place to put some information. In this case, when a customer entering a shopper, can do a check-in, just tap the mobile phone on a panel, like it. The mobile phone will open a mobile application, and now the customer can buy a lot of product inside this shopping. For example, I like Italian wine, and I have just to tap my mobile phone on it, and the mobile application will show the information, description, and price of this product. And the user has just to start the process. On the backend system, you can find all purchases done with a lot of details, the status, the authentication carrier, NFSC QR code, the amount, the currency. At the moment, we support the five different currency, dollars, pound, yen, Euro, and Switzerland. There are some information about the name, surname, the buyer identification, the payment plugin used, in this case, I use a EU electronic wallet, the merchant information, there is also a literally loyalty program. And there is also an important uh, function, is if this payment has been checked by the merchant or not. In this case, the merchant not read my payments. And there is also the message displayed on the mobile phone. The bank can also manage the buyers. For each buyer, there is some information about uh, the user. The authentication carrier enabled for this user. If uh, the mobile application must be required a PIN for some amount of transaction, over amount for day, and the number of transaction for day. There are the loyalty program, and if the customer can receive the advertising on offline advertising on mobile phone. Every customer can define also different rules. For example, a customer can decide to pay with electronic wallet. For example, it could be a prepaid credit card, or using another credit card, or using a bank account. In this case, we have also PayPal, but I think not, not the bank will not use the PayPal to pay the user can decide also to reject some payments. For example, he can decide to reject a payment over uh, 1,000 euros. Or he can decide to use the electronic wallet and use the PIN. Sorry. can decide to use the electronic wallet and require the PIN over 1,000 euro. Sorry, the rule name is mandatory. In this case, I have two rules. The first is 
using electronic wallet and require the PIN over 10,000 euros. If the payment is for just uh, 5 euros, the system don't ask the don't ask the PIN because there is also the second rule. You can manage also the all merchant details. And for all merchants, you can see also the information and to define the fee. For example, the fixed fee and a percentage fee. There is also the loyalty program for every merchant. And every merchant can define also the products, or sure, we can integrate the existing solution. For example, can decide to modify this product, change the price, and a new QR code will be generated. And the, the, the merchant can print or use the QR code in his own online uh, e-commerce. If you want to go in deep about uh, our white label solution, this is a white label solution. You can customize, change the logo, change the name, integrate in, a, in other system. And to see uh, all functionality that we have and to check also the BAMP technology, we can plan also a meeting uh, in, our, uh, in our room. Thanks a lot uh, for your attention and see you later, I hope.